Hi everyone, this is Robin. You can see I have a visitor on my desk. I could not get her, let me get her off the desk. I could not reach under the table where she was hiding. Oh, you can take that with you too. All right. Oh, this is a video of um, some stuff that I've gotten since I've last talked to you. I also um, won a uh, a gift from GT Design. She had um, four things she was giving away, and I think only six people participated. Maybe five? Yeah, it might have been five because she was going to send somebody something to the fifth person that didn't win. I got third place, and I got to pick between the last two that she had in her video, and I wanted to show you what I won and some other things and what I plan on doing in the future. Um, so yeah, um, our Big Bath and Beyond is going out of business, so I picked these up yesterday, um, I was with my husband, he, um, <laughs> he looked at the, uh, the slip after he paid for it and said, those are the most expensive napkins I've ever seen, and these were 25% off too, so, you know, men, they don't know how much things are, but I love this one with the birds. I don't think I have any others. I might have one with birds on it, but those are real super cute. And this goes along with um, the next book I'm making for November, which is a nature and bug book. And um, it is for Susan Taylor Brown's design team. Um, she had um, a call out, was it in August? And I made another um, junk journal then, and she asked me to be on her team. And it's a great, it's great because she, um, it's every other month, so um, I can fit that in. And these are beautiful tulips. I think there's a name for these kind of tulips. I don't know what they are. So yeah, I got these two. I was real happy to get them. Um, real sad to see Bed Bath & Beyond leaving our little, um, shopping area, but we do have one that's about a half an hour from here that's not closing, so. You see, some other stuff that I have gotten, I got there from Amazon, and I'm not happy with these people because they said you'll get five different kinds. Well, I didn't. I got two of one kind. Let me see, two, two, Let's see, I got two hearts and a bow and a heart and a butterfly. So I, I didn't get one of the items that they were selling. But then when I went to leave a comment, I see they shut the whole thing down. So it must have been a dishonest seller to begin with. But these are kind of neat. I don't know if you can even see or pick up the glitter. Um, so these will be fun to work with. So I got those for next to nothing. Um, what else? Oh, Lori Fusco has these big um, sub bags that she decorates with. What she does is she folds them in half like this. And you know, she does amazing work. When I grow up, I want to be just like her. Um, She's selling some of her bags. I guess she has millions of them, so I was able to, to get a few um, from her Etsy shop. So these are super cool. I can't wait to start working with them. And Bella's back on the desk. Okay, you have to get out of my way. Get out of my way. Thank you. Get out of my way. And she sent me some extras, too. These are those ones that um, are little bags in the front that are clear. And then they're brown in the back pretty cool. And an extra glassine bag. Thank you, Lori. That was wonderful. And I'm going to remove her again from the desk. No, you can be up here. Some of the things I've been working on. Um, I haven't been on my YouTube channel for a while. I apologize. Just life gets in the way. Um, I've been tea dyeing, tea dyeing copy dyeing some envelopes so that I can just grab them when I want to and I got different sizes here. I tried to um, do some of these brown ones and I got a little bit, I think I tried a little bit of glitter and I put some white on some of them. The tea dyeing didn't work very well but eh, you 
it's not bad, it's not bad. So I have this under my desk ready to go when I need them. I also worked on just some everyday um, envelopes. I've been watching people using the envelopes and it's like, I don't have them ready. I don't have them tea dyed. And I think they look really neat with some color on them. So I have those ready to go. Those will be under my desk. And if you watch um, Roxy's Creations, Rachel, she, oh gosh, was it last month or two months ago, she had um, gone to um, some kind of a sale in her town on a weekend, and she got a whole bunch of old books. Um, and I was amazed. So I was able to buy one because I just happened to see um, her put it um, on her page, like, within a half an hour. The books were gone, I think, within an hour. But um, this one's loose. This book um, is from 1732. Now, my intention was, oh, yeah, I'll get it home and, you know, I'll take pages out and use them in my work. But the problem is now, I think I'd feel guilty if I did. Um, a funny story, my husband, I, I got around to showing him what I bought and he was like in a daze. He couldn't believe that this was, you know, 1732. It's, you know, an old book. He was like, can I take this to work and show my coworkers? And I'm like, no, you can't take it to work and show your coworkers. I want people handling it. It is pretty fragile, you know, um, just hanging in there and so, you know, it doesn't close right. And he pouted, he pouted and it was not good. So that weekend I contacted Rachel and said, are you gonna get any more of those old books? And she said, well, as a matter of fact, I'm going this weekend. So I was able to get him a book and I don't have it with me. Um, but that's his Christmas present. He's happy as a clam. And if he wants to show it off to anybody, he can. But get this, the date for that book is 1685. I believe it's um, about religion, dogmatism. Um, of course, you know, this is old, old English. I think this is, I don't even know what this is, Latin? This one's Latin. I believe his book is in Old French. But yeah, I'm super excited to get it. And I've decided if I want to use this, I'm going to have to take copies of it. Um, because I don't want to take anything out. I, I would just feel too guilty. So <laughs> that's that. But look at some of the, the neat designs that are on here. It's amazing. Anyways, I did get this. That was a whole lot of fun. What else? Um, this I wanted to show you. This was a D stash from, oh, I'm going to forget her name. California Crafty Lady. I'm not sure. She's doing, um, she's doing a huge D stash. So I got some of these papers. These are actually practice papers, I believe, for maybe elementary students for Japanese writing. I thought, isn't that cool? Um, I don't know where I put the rest of the stuff I got from her, but I kept a couple out so that I can coffee stain these. Um, it's just different kind of ephemera to have in your books. I thought it was really cool. And I know I'm skipping all over the place, hang in there. Um, I was watching Gina at Firefly Studios. She was making a clutch purse out of a paper bag. And I've watched it probably three times now. And I'm enamored with how she did it. Um, this is a paper bag. You fold it down like this. Fold this out. Fold this in. Um, I even got the same paper she's using. This is Tracy Fox's Pendium paper. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, but yeah, um, my printer is not behaving again. I'm going to have to call Epson later today. 
Um, the update came out for duplex printing, but it's not working, as you can see. So, um, yeah, um, if you get to watch it, um, the video, I highly recommend it. Um, it's called uh, Paper Bag Clutch, I think. So just go to um, Firefly Studio 67 on YouTube. And she actually put in um, a little um, book in it. Just amazing. So that's going to be one of my side jobs that I'm going to be working on. And... Oh, here's the, the... I bought these bags from the lady in California, too. I thought, if nothing else, you could either make a journal out of them. These are actually from an oil company. They're already stained. It says um, Humble Oil and Refining Company. I think these were money bags back in the day. I'm not sure. But you could either put a journal in here, or you could actually use this for you know, the outside. So I got a couple of those. I thought they were pretty neat and unusual. And this was um, kind of a surprise. I put in, um, GT Designs is my absolute favorite place to get kits from. She's, her prices are right and she's so generous. Um, when you get a kit from her, it, it is like a stuffed box, like this big, you know, just packed. So she had a giveaway and I entered it. And I got to pick, I think I was picked for third, so I got to pick, she had four prizes. And um, surprisingly, nobody had picked this one. She had made one that was a copy geared more for Christmas. So she took copies of these old, old papers that she has. And that was a Christmas kit. And this is actually the one that I was interested in. These are the originals that she took copies of. Now, some of them are just, you know, your, your ledger papers, but there's all different kinds. There's this one, it's got really pretty blue and pinks on it. And, uh, you know, different ones. This one says interest, blues and pinks again. This one says stationary printing and postage. Um, she's down in Texas, and her and her mom go around to different um, estate sales. She gets the best stuff, I tell ya. Just yummy stuff. And this one's really bright, with blue and red. That would be great in like a 4th of July book. And some more ledgers. Yummy stuff. Look at this one. This one I just looks old. 155. It says on the corner. And then you open it. It's just lovely. I just love it. Um, I could probably make two pages of that and put them that way in a book. Love it. Or I can make. She said she doesn't care if I make copies of them. Um, you know, do whatever I like with them. There's an old composition paper and old grid paper with the number three on it. That's kind of neat. And she gave me. Um, she took a copy of this for one of the ones she was giving away, but I got the original. Totally gorgeous. Totally gorgeous. Poinsettias. Now, how am I going to give that up? I mean, really. I have a problem with um, handkerchiefs. I have a collection. Um, I actually have two big, thick albums full of handkerchiefs. Yes. And actually, um, I wanted to ask you guys what I should do with them. Should I copy corners of them and put them on my YouTube? I don't know. That's my note from her. It's an old ad for a silver tree. That's the original. It looks like it's spun around. I remember these at my grandma's house. I think they were on, they were smaller and they were on tables. And some various um, pieces of paper. Hope Club restaurant paper. And um, a little piece of paper with some people at a thing. Whoops, sorry for the you sit there. Some more old paper from, looks like an old type ledger. And my cat's trying to get out of the room now. And she had some um, things for pennies and nickels and quarters. These look actually pretty old, pretty neat. And she had cut out some of these. She gave those to me from an old magazine. And let me see, we have 
receipt. And this is just some paper with some old um, numbers on the back. And another old, um, this is from a carriage and wagon work. Um, it's from 1970, I think it says 71. I'm not sure what that says. That's the original, and this is a game board. If anyone knows what the game board is for, whoops, sorry. Um, I'm not sure what all this is. Is it bridge or, but yeah, it's original, it's really cool. And here's a cart postel from 2122, well, I don't know. This is foreign country, so it's got this really cool, um, this must be for, I don't know, shipping back in whenever, you know, to explain what you have to pay, I guess. And an old canceled check from the Bank of California. It's kind of cool. And she sent me some old bingo cards. This is one of them. And this is a postcard. And this is from Russia. But you can see, God, I keep putting it over there, sorry. Um, the little chair is really cute, little tree. So that's really cute. And a picture of old cars. Must have been from a magazine. And then some, here's another um, receipt with some writing on the back. And also, this is kind of cool. It's a menu making Christmas dinner. You sent me that. And Suppers for 100. It must have been from a cookbook she had. And more Christmas um, recipes. From an old book. And um, a few um, cards. Looks like Christmas cards. Cute. And then we have just the front of this one. Just greetings. It reminds me of um, my mom and dad's. Um, boxes that you, they had ornaments in. And here's an old, um, the Green Embry Company, Livestock Commission Merchants, Cincinnati, Ohio. It's kind of cool. And some more cutouts. She had one of Santa and one with, you know, Santa in a helicopter. He's got to get around, right? Um, and another receipt. Pink. It's kind of cool. And again, I can't really make out the date on that. It's really faded. This is from Augusta, Georgia. And um, this is kind of cool. It's, it's a child's outfit. Um, and it's got red and green on it. I thought that was pretty cool. She picked that out. And here's another card. Greetings, an old one. And this is just a piece of paper. And then these are um, really old um, ledger paper with the original writing in it. Looks like got people's names and what they might have owed for wherever this was. So yeah, that was a whole lot of fun to make, or to win, sorry. Cat's at my feet, she's trying to get up here again. So I'm leave that there. And what else do I wanna to talk to you about? Um, I wanted to show you and get your opinion on a few things. Let me go get them. Actually, I have two, three big albums. These are, let me put one to the side. My grandmother had handkerchiefs, and so I started collecting them. And got a little out of hand, I think. I'll show you this one. I'll just go through these kind of fast and show you what I have. I don't know what to do with them. At first, um, long ago, let me see if I can get this better. Um, I thought maybe I'd make a quilt out of them. Um, But I, I still have them, and they're still, I'm not going to go slowly through these, or I have you on the video for hours here. But I have all kinds, 
I think I went to auctions and I would bid on any handkerchiefs that I saw when I lived in Michigan. Um, some of them, this is my grandfather's, the VT, Valentine Talberg. Um, they're just plain. But yeah, I have quite a few. That one's gorgeous, that one. I don't know what to do. Should I copy these and offer them for sale in YouTube? Or I don't know how I could. I have two boys. Are they really going to want three books of handkerchiefs? No, they're not. So you people need to tell me to use them. Either put them in books or make copies of the pretty ones. For my YouTube store, I don't know what to do. Um, yeah, I got tons. I have some strange ones. This might, might be, this one's made out of, I don't know, rice or something. This really feels different. It says Philippines on it. But as you can see, I have, some have stains on them. I really need to use these. Um, this one has someone's initials on them. Some white ones with lace around them. Yeah, I have a, a bunch of them. Maybe I should sell them. I don't know. My boys are just probably going to throw them out. There I go, you know. So, if anyone has any ideas, I know you're going to say use them, you know. Use them in your work and your crafting stuff, but there's so many of them. Uh, yeah, well, way too many, as you can see. Every kind, every type. These ones are cute. These I am going to put in into my store. These are children's handkerchiefs from long ago. There's a dog, and I just haven't gotten around to doing it. My Epson printer is not behaving. I have to call them later, like I said. A little bear. A little boy blue. Adorable. A little pig on a banjo with little ducks playing on the bottom. So, and we have that one too. These are all little small ones, I think they're really cute. But yeah, like I have this one from my grandmother. This is from Stockholm, or my grandfather. He's from Sweden, so that came from there. Oh, and then there's some smaller, another small one right there. <laughs> And another small one, I forgot about those two. The Girl Scout one. And this is the Girl Scout one right here. I think that was my mom's. Here's another small one. And then we have some darker ones and some lighter ones. And this is a, a gold black one. Pretty. So yeah, if anyone has any ideas, let me know. And you can see I have just about every kind. This is um, a handkerchief of Florida. My sister lived in Pennsylvania for a time and when we went there, we'd go to auctions there too. And I think I got a whole bunch of them there. So, Little towel towel type. It's not cute. So yeah, if you have any ideas, I also have four of these of postcards, two of black and whites and two of antiques. So yeah, you could say I have a <laughs> collecting problem. Um, I've always collected stuff. So yeah. Um, the last thing is I have a couple, um, I have five little golden books. They're all for Christmas. My cat's on my chair playing with my leg. Um, I'm going to probably sell these for, I don't know, 10 bucks for all of them. You can see the dates. Um, 89, 1977. I'll put them right over the 1983, the 12 days of Christmas, the Christmas story, and the Christmas tree that grew. 
Um, yeah, probably 10 bucks for all of them. Um, I just wanted to go to a good home. And gosh, I'm working on a secret project for some people for Christmas. I can't show you any of that. And yeah, so that's just kind of an update. Um, I hope to be on more and videoing more. I did get a new computer and the computer um, didn't have a lot of programs that worked at it because you have to convert from a Mac to an MP4. So I had to find a program for that. And then from there, you have to get it up to YouTube. So there's a couple conversions that I have to use when I do these videos because I'm recording on a um, iPhone. So anyways, um, that's just an update for now. And I uh, hope to see you all very soon. Thank you. Bye.